feet. This is definitely better. It's more controllable. I'm going to patent this. The Mars Bunny Hop. Hey, John, do you want to give it a rest? I'm trying to do a presentation here. Big day today. We're conducting a robot descent the seven vertical kilometers down to the floor of Valles Marineris to search for liquid water. Charlie here has volunteered. All right, here's our ride. Someone order a cab. Shall we just off before we get in? Yes, let's not mess up this vehicle. No names, Kirby. We're on a dusty planet, guys. Aries Pegasus. Dust devils are harmless, but global storms have wrecked previous robotic missions. Pegasus will be keeping a close eye on the surface. You're very quiet back there. is going nice straight of green up here. Well, tell her if it's any consolation, we're going to name these cliffs after her. <laughs> yeah, she says that makes all the difference. Tell them to stop enjoying themselves, get back to work. Did you read that? 4,000 kilometers long, 7 kilometers deep. The whole place is a geological heaven and I'm not going. But still, I'll, I don't think there'll be any clouds. I'll have a ringside seat. Ready for descent. Copy that, Tom. We see no adverse... 150 million miles away, Mission Control monitors another serious health hazard, the sun. Flight, we have a solar weather warning. Hazard class. We should get them under cover. Capcom, tell them there's a solar flare heading their way. S3... Solar flares send storms of charged particles blasting across the solar system. Unlike Earth, Mars has no magnetic field to deflect the lethal radiation. It'll take 10 minutes for the warning to reach the astronauts and another 90 minutes before they can reach shelter. Beautiful day, isn't it? Roger that. Pegasus, you have a solar flare heading your way. S3, ETA, four minutes behind this message. Effect immediate evacuation of the cockpit. Tell Tom to report the EVA and get back to Ares. Surgeon wants dosimeter readings before the solar storm rages you. That's two minutes behind this message. How does he go to faster?
Once the solar storm passes, the astronauts pick up where they left off, at the cliffs of Valles Marineris. One speed, 9.5 meters per second. Zero eight zero degrees. It will take six hours for their robot Charlie to reach the floor of the canyon. Altitude 6520, down at 12. I could just taste it. From what I understand, John, what you taste is your saliva boiling on your tongue. Okay, I've got another subangular hematite. We seem to be getting some false positives here. And, uh, Our second borehole is dry. Off, it Moving on. Looks like a fairly fine grained, gray, fairly solid fried. Drilling borehole number when three. I have this subangular, some of the best. Classic kidney shaped crystals. Wish I could get the dust off it. Boil on it. Distinct metallic luster, millimeter sized crystals. Hey, what's this? this? Yeah, reading you. Go ahead. There's a storm brewing in the western end of Marineris, heading east. How big? Most of it's still on the night side. I think it's a canyon storm, not a global event, but it's got potential to reach you. Okay, roger that. Charlie's drinking. Water. On the third borehole. Aries Pegasus, what's your status? We did it. Uh, we're just uh, wrapping things up here. How long till we get it back? Four hours. Anchor's released. Do we wait? We might not get another chance. That is a big storm. Look, the wind's blowing Charlie off course. This planet is jinxed. What are we standing here for? Tom, I don't think you want to be traveling when this hits you. This isn't a dust devil, Tom. It's a storm. It'll wreck your guidance systems. Copy that. We have a visual on Charlie. It's well over 10 meters per second advancing east. Charlie's on the ground. We're collecting the water sample. Gotcha. It's obscuring our view of Melas. Expect some calm interference. Aries Pegasus, what's your position? Just parked up. Should have let me drive. Don't see a thing. Miss the ladder. Hope you enjoyed the ride, because the forecast says you are grounded. Good morning, Martians. This is your local weather forecast for the next two days. And that's dust and more dust. Can't be just lucky it wasn't a global storm. You'll be stuck inside until spring. What a mess. People say, why not do the whole mission with robots? Well, this is why. Without people to wipe their solar panels, those robots would have been dead. Well, they're great for certain tasks, don't get me wrong, but you can't really program initiative. They don't respond in the same way to that glint on the horizon or subtle change in rock color. You really can't beat a pair of eyes, a hand, and a hammer. Okay, now this is we cricket now. Go on, then. Season one in the Martian League. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bring it on. I call this my Martian curve ball. <laughs> That's pretty good. What do you call that? Huh? Home run! Wow. No need for any gyro compensation. You're cleared for takeoff. Of all the planets, Mars is the most likely to support a human colony. But without a magnetic field, 
they'll have to find another way of protecting against solar flares. Radar gives 90 meters. Stand by for pitch and yaw. Over to you, Zoe. One meter in closing. Soft dog and hard dog. Mankind's first tour of the inner solar system is complete.